What's up YouTube, Dustin Yui here, back with another Winnipeg Jets franchise mode. We're starting Season 5, we made some big moves last time, we uh, traded away Blake Wheeler, uh, we picked up guys like Dumba and Lambos, I'll show you guys the lines really quick here, I don't know why I was just going through them. Uh, so we got Connor Shifley, Ehlers, Dubois, Perfetti, and Tristan Holden, who, are, who is our rookie, he's just like sick, he's so nasty. Uh, Paul Stasny, Lowry, and Veselainen. Gustafson, Appleton, and Malgan. And then on defense, we got Morrissey, Pionk, Lambos, Dumba, Hainala, and Fabro. Uh, these guys are interchangeable, basically. One's an offense defenseman, one's a two-way two -way defenseman. So we'll see how that goes. Um, and then in goal, we got Hellebuck and Bjorklund. I'm excited for the uh, for the changes we made. So hopefully, hopefully the team is as well. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, we'll be swimming through the first uh, first half of the year. Uh, if you guys do enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. Helps out a lot. And if you haven't done, haven't done so, hit the subscribe button. Excellent choice. Uh, Kaminsky. Oh, okay. We got something going on with our trade block. Course. Oh yeah, yeah. We want to give away all of our prospects. Obviously, that's what we want to do. <laughs> we don't want any prospects at all. It is our last year. Um, I might do year by year updates if anybody's interested. Um, the other, actually, the other thing, while while we're early on, the other thing I wanted to ask about was just about a net, uh, like the next team uh, and what you guys would like to see from a. From a perspective, do you guys want to see? I, I did a vote, but uh, do you guys like like it chopped up a bit, or do you like full years at a time? Um, the only thing with full years is it doesn't give room for feedback, um, but we can do that as well if you guys want. So, let's do the uh, preseason here. Uh, I think those are all the games right there. Okay, all right, okay, looking decent. Decent 5 2 and 0 in the preseason. Not that that means anything, but that's okay. Mm, scouting assignments it should be automatically scouting, so I don't know. All right, so we got our. Um, should we do the home opener? Let's do the home opener against Anaheim. I think. I think that's what we'll do. So we'll send the first. Wow, we're on a four game road trip to, to start the season off. All right, let's see how she goes. 7 4 dub. There we go. 6 2, 2 1, 4 0. Perfect. Good start. Okay. Let's simmer our home opener here. We'll hop right into it real quick. Alright. Uh, so times 8. First period. 1 1. Morrissey and Tatar. Second period. Ooh. 3 2 for Anaheim, Raquel, Tatar, and Shifley. Okay. Third period. Can we win our home opener? We are getting outshot very badly. <laughs> Ooh, for bro ties it up. Nice. Nice, nice. Uh, we can jump in too if it's if it's a close one here. Five, three, two, one. The crowd is absolutely bumping in Winnipeg, as you can see. <laughs> they really need to fix the uh, the crowd. Holy man. <laughs> crowd going wild. Oh man, it's hilarious! All right, here we go. So we got Shifley, Ehlers, and Kyle Connor on, but three four, three forwards on this one. Here we go. Ooh. Okay. Going for the all-out attack. So that's Eric Carlson on the Ducks. Jeez. Okay. 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 First line still out there. They got Zegras and Lundstrom. Come on, boys. Big draw. Nope. Drysdale on the back end. Okay. Get him. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Okay. Uh, help him out. Help him out, Connor. Two guys on the puck. Sheesh. Oh, yeah. Get it. Get it, get it, get it. Oh, no. That's not good. All right. Here we go. Healers. Oh man, what are we doing out there? We're not having a good game. <laughs> we are not having a good game at all. Alright, let's get a change maybe. Nope, Shifley's just going right in there. 
Our first line hasn't changed. Okay. Sweet. Some uh, fresh bodies, maybe? I don't know. You know? Maybe. Probably not a bad idea. There we go. I'm also debating if I give Holden the eight games, but he is like... He's actually sick. He's like 83 or 84, I think. So I think he needs to be playing in the NHL. There's no, no doubt about it. Here we go. Yeah, yeah. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Connor, why are you... Stop skating, bro. Oh, there it is, baby. Let's go! Kyle Connor. Big dubs. Home opener. OT winner. What is with Hellebox pads? I literally just fixed them. That's super weird, dude. Yeah, super weird. This is what his pads should look like. <laughs> weird. Alright, so we're off to a 5 and 0 oh start. Woo wee! 0 oh and 4. Uh, who should we play next? Devils. Who's, who's in our division here that's doing alright? Wild Blues. Blackhawks. Okay. Let's send to Dallas. See how this goes. Okay, big dubs. Big dubs. Big dubs. Uh, how's Dallas doing? Dallas is not doing great. Uh, let's go to Chicago then. Maybe we'll play. Chicago, Avs, or St. Louis. We got a couple uh, division games coming up here, so let's let's keep let's keep going here. Oh, we got our first loss. Oh, second loss. Oh, third loss. <laughs> Blackhawks. Okay, we're tied with the Blackhawks, or we're not tied. Blackhawks are ahead of us by two, so let's play this game. Let's sim this one and see how she goes. Here we go. All right, first period, Blackhawks at the Jets. One one. Shifley and Darby. Second period. Oh my goodness. Okay. 4 1. I didn't even see who scored all those. Debrinka got a hat trick in the second period. Okay, perfect. Okay, nice. Good for you. <laughs> Ooh, Corallion Bjorklin. Shifley scores. Oh, we got our backup in. Okay. I was hoping Bjorklin would be a stud, but he's only a 79. Okay. Rough one. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, Dabrinkit had a hat trick. They have Buchnevich. Oh my gosh. Okay. The Blackhawks getting pretty competitive here. Oh, we started off eight zero. Now we're we've we've dropped four in a row. I think we just keep going though. I think we just keep going. Although who knows? Oh, shootout loss. Five in a row. There we go. Oh, okay. Ay ay ay. Ay ay ay. Colorado, big dub. Seattle, big dub. Ooh, lost the blues. Okay. Uh where are the the wilder? Oh my god, the Avs, the Blackhawks, and the Blues are ahead of us. Woo! It's a tight uh, tight division, man. Um what do we got here? Mini we got a couple Avs games coming up. Let's let's send to this mini game. Roster management. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. No, I Wanted to stop the sim. It literally popped up and said, hey, this is happening. And I was like, okay, cool. But like, it still just went. <laughs> it just kept going. <laughs> right. <laughs> Thanks. How's Holden doing? Oh, he's not eight goals, five assists. That's not bad. Oh my god, Perfetti, what is happening? Dubois, okay, something's going on here. We're not scoring goals. Uh, let's look at our stats really quick. 11, 7, and 1. Shifley has 17 points. It looks like our first line's going. Uh, so Shifley, Ehlers, Dubois, Holden, Connor. Hmm. Shifley and Ehlers are going. Maybe we put Connor down the left wing. Uh, I mean, I know Dubois is not playing his actual position, but he doesn't have very good face-offs. Uh, Perfetti is not doing a whole lot for us. He's got really good face-offs too, which is crazy. Veseline hasn't scored a goal. Hmm. All right, let's uh, let's shake it up a little bit. I think we keep Ehlers and Shifley together because those guys are going. Um. Playmaker, playmaker, sniper. Do we put? He's a lefty. Maybe we we'll put Holden on the first line. See if we can get him going. Uh, Dubois is flexible, so we'll put Dubois on the right side. 
think that might help. We also have Vessel Line in here, so if we need to shift around some more, we can. Yeah, let's try that out. Um, defensively, I never really looked at our plus minus. Plus 9 for Neil Pionk. Plus 7 for Morrissey. Plus 4 for Lambos. Plus 2 for Dumbo. Okay, so that's... Our defense are all plus, which is good. Uh, goalies, Heli is not doing too bad. He's got 10 wins. Seems like he's played all the games. One win for Year and Bjorklund. I mean, I guess we could... If we're not happy with Bjorklund, maybe we... I mean, we've played 19 games and Heli's played 17 of them. <laughs> maybe we look for a... A goalie? I don't know. Is there any backup goalies that we could get? Uh, there's a couple in here. Uh, Phoenix Copley. Oh. Aiden Hill. Wow, he's 6'6". Six, six. Woo-wee! That's not bad at all. 6'6 six, six goalie. Uh, okay, let's give... Let's give uh, Bjorkland a few, like a little bit more. See how these lines do for a couple of games here. Uh, all right, so where are we? We lost a mini going here. Let's sim two more games. Ouch. Okay. So we have a 5-4 shootout loss and then a 5-2 win. Okay, all right. Oh, gosh. I don't know why our team's so bad, man. <laughs> this is a pretty solid team. <laughs> All right, let's try try a couple more here. Seventh, and then we beat Calgary seven three. Like that's insane. We're still in the mix. I think it's the division games that we're losing here. We're we're losing a lot of one goal games here. Shootout laws, OTL, which is giving us points, but yeah, a lot of our games are like this is a one goal loss. That's a one. That's a shootout loss, but. Uh, one goal loss. Okay. Interesting. Okay, let's look. Let's take a quick peek at our stats here. Do a little micromanagement here. Uh, Shifley, Tristan Holden has exploded. Yeah, he did. He. Okay. Nick Ehlers has slowed down a little bit. That's okay, though. If Shifley and Holden are going, that's fine. Connor has picked up. Dubois has picked it up. Perfetti has picked it up a little bit. So that that's essentially what we want to see. The top six are going. Uh, I wouldn't mind getting Veselainen going if we can. He needs he needs somebody on his line though. Lowry's got eleven, which isn't bad. Stasny has thirteen. I mean, it's not it's not terrible. He's an eighty overall. He's getting a point every two games. It's not like he's not contributing. Hmm, our fourth line is a plus, or even, which is pretty good. And they're, like, contributing a little bit. I'm not expecting them to do a whole lot. Malgan is a playmaker, though, so I don't, I don't know if that's what we want. 84 defensive awareness. Eighty-four defensive awareness. Our, I think our fourth line just doesn't have enough awareness, to be honest. To be frankly, yeah, like even our our third line's better. <laughs> okay, interesting. Uh, oh, wrong, wrong tab. Let's see goalies here. Uh, Bjorklund has still only played three games, so Connor Hellebuck's just like taking the brunt of all the action. Maybe we need to. Maybe we need a new backup. I don't know. I don't want Connor Hellebuck to play the entire season. <laughs> not that that's a bad thing. I'm not against it. Uh, okay. Let's play the Avs here. Uh, we'll play at home. See if Hellebuck's pads are still messed up. <laughs> well, if we if we if we jump in, I guess. See, so pause it. Times eight. First period. One one. Perfetti and Bailey. Second period. Ooh, four three. Colorado. Okay. So Ehlers, Ranton, and Curry, Stasny, and Grimaldi. Okay. Third period. Oh man, they don't even have that many shots either. Hopefully we can tie it up here. That'd be all right. Ooh, five three. Ranton. Okay. 
Oh, we should look at our... Oh, nice. Neil Pionk. Okay. We should look at our, uh, our special teams. That would be a good indication. Because we need our special team scoring. Alright, that's all she wrote. 5-4 loss. So that's another one goal division game that we lost. Which is no good. Holden had three assists. Wow. Oops. I didn't realize it went back that way. Alright, so... Interesting. Okay. Yeah, let's look at our special teams really fast. We're getting a little more micromanagement for this season. Just because I want to see if we can figure out what the heck's going on. Our goals four is like, good. It's over three. Our goals against is a little high. It's not terrible. The St. Louis Blues are the only... Oh, and the... The Blues and the Coyotes are the only teams that are better than us. But, like, you can see, like, Colorado's at a three, but, like, they're just winning because they're outscoring by a lot. Like, three and a half is pretty high. I'm surprised the Blackhawks are doing so well. That, that's really... Oh, uh, I mean, they're, they're ahead of us, but they have four games at hand. Okay, so that's not troubling at all. We're not doing terrible. Goals for 83, goals against 71. Okay, so, like, be nice if we could score some more, but, like, our goals against isn't terrible. Uh, power play points... Ooh, total, total power plays. So we're all 13% on the power play. That's not good. Uh, okay, PK is 78.9. Oof. Rip to the dip. Okay, so let's see if there's any power penalty kill, like defensive specialist that we could find, maybe. Oof. <laughs> That's not happening. A depth forward, Morand. This is Jankowski. I just want to see if anybody has like good defensive stats. Negative. We might have to find somebody. Tr make a trade. Yeah, that's, there's no, there's literally nobody here. Okay. Uh, that goalie's still available. Not that I, I again, I'm, I'm totally. I think I'm okay that Hellebuck's playing so much. Okay, I'm gonna look at the the special teams really quick. I'll show you guys what I do. All right, so we moved around our uh, players a little bit. Uh, so I put Dubois on the point here. I think previously we had uh, Kyle Connor potentially. Um, I also switched out Pionk and Dumba. So Dumba wasn't on the power play, but he's getting a decent amount of points. Uh, so I put him on the first power play. Uh, we took off Stasny off the second power play, and I went with two defensemen. And then we put Holden, best line of Perfetti. So I hope, <laughs> I hope that helps. Uh, PK wise, I kind of just loaded up. So we got Lowry, Dubois, and then Shifley, Vaseline, and then three man we got Lowry and Shifley. So I don't know if it's gonna help, but we'll see. Yeah, it's not like our uh, our PP and our PK could get worse. I mean, they could obviously, but um, yeah, let's keep going here. Hopefully, it turns around for us. Six four loss, shootout loss, three one loss. Oh my gosh. <laughs> What is our team doing, dude? Oh my god. I don't know what to even say right now. This is terrible. Look at these, like, one and two goal losses. Especially divisionally. Oh. That's so bad, boys. <sighs> Alright, let's go into January here. 2-1 loss. Oh my gosh. I don't know what to even say right now. What is going on here? We were doing so, like, we were doing decent. So Shifley's still doing well. Holden's doing well. Ehlers is doing well. Great. Connor, Perfetti, Dubois. They're still scoring. It looks like their plus minus is dropped, obviously. It's not like we're, it's not like we're not scoring goals, though. We're getting, like, our guys have points. Vesselinen has 17 on the third line. Lowry and Stasny have 16. Like, that's... Man, that's pretty good. Yeah, it's our fourth... Our fourth line seems to be dragging us down a little bit here. Yeah, we... Okay, so we need to make a trade for, like, a... A defensive player. That makes sense. Okay. We need to bolster our fourth line a little bit here. Uh, yeah, Bjorklund's just not cutting it. I think we... His... Which is weird, because his stats are good. He's got a 9-2-3 and a 2-3-7. Like, Hellebuck's literally not... not. He should be... Like, Hellebuck should be winning games for us. 
point blank. When it's a one goal game or like a tie game, we should be winning those games because Hellebuck's at 90 overall. I don't know. I gave him another chance, but holy, he's just not He's just not cutting it for us. Okay. Hmm. All right, we're going to try and trade Malgan Kaminsky in this year's second for Patrice Bergeron of the Red Wings. He's 40 years old. There we go. Okay, nice. Got it. All right, so we're going to try and get Scott Lowden from the Flyers. He's got pretty good defensive stats. We're going to give up our prospect enforcer, Chris Keith, and a fourth rounder. Actually, let's try something else first. Let's try give him a fifth rounder. See what they say. Trade accepted. Okay, cool. Perfect. All right, so after a few trades, here's how we're looking. So our, our top six is still going, which is fine. Our bottom six is okay, except for our third line. So we've we picked up Patrice Bergeron at center. He's a 40-year-old, but he's still got a pretty crazy defensive awareness and face-offs. Uh, and then we've got Scott Loughton, who's got pretty good defense uh, defensive category. And Mason Appleton, we're going to keep down here because he's, he's decent. He's not bad. Uh, and hopefully, hopefully that helps. All right, we've both started our defense. Let's see if it helps. <laughs> We're at 33 games, so we have uh, we still have a few games to get to 41 here. Uh, let's sim up to Toronto. All right, there we go. Good start after the trade. Nope, not a good. Nope. Okay, there we go. Eesh. Okay, two more games. Uh, so we won a couple more than we lost. <laughs> um, let's do... Yeah, let's, let's sim against Detroit. Seattle Kraken have fired head coach. Okay. Ooh, we beat the Maple Leafs. That's good. We're still in the mix, though. Like, the Blackhawks are only three points ahead of us, and they, they have four games in hand still. The Wild are a point ahead of us. So, let's sim this last game. And see how we do to get to 41. We'll stop at the halfway mark. Alright, first period. Alright, nothing, nothing. Second period. 1 0 for the Jets. Pierre Luc Dubois on Tristan Jerry. <clears throat> Hopefully, there we go. Josh Morrissey. 2 0. I'd be curious to see. Ooh, Wagner. Okay. 2 1. Curious to see how our special teams are doing now. I mean, Patrice Bergeron's still pretty nasty at his age. His his poke check, like his stick checking and his blocking, there we go, big dub, are not like fantastic, fantastic, but they're still reasonable. Pretty good. So let's see. All right. So 20, 16, and 5. Not a bad record. It's just the central is so crazy right now. Uh, so we did pass the Wild, who are exactly... The same amount of games as us. Blackhawks, like I said, we're only two points back of the Blackhawks. And we have four games in hand. So that's that's pretty massive. Alright, and as I say that, it looks like our top six have slowed down a little bit. Or our second line has actually picked it up. So, uh, Shifley has 34 points. Holden with 33. Ehlers with 31. Connor with 29. Perfetti with 25. Veselainen with 23. Dubois with 23. Um... Dumb is actually putting in some points, which is great. I don't see many power play points for some of these guys, though, which is kind of weird. Um, it's all right. Bergeron has played eight games for us. Wait. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, he hasn't even played. I, I traded from Detroit. He, was, he hasn't even played a game yet this year. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Plus minus is zero. Uh... Faceoffs 51.9. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Scott Loughton. What has he done for us? I just want to see. One assist, plus minus is zero. 11 shots. I mean, uh, it's, I mean that's that's alright. That looks good to me. As long as they're not getting scored on, that's, that's all I care about, really. Uh, goalies. So Heli has picked it up. He's 17-11 right now. Oh yeah, we we're gonna maybe look at our backup goalie. Although Bjorklund has got a couple more wins. So I think we'll give him a chance. He's got like I said, he's got really good stats. It's just he's not getting wins at all. 
Your your backup goalie should at least be getting a couple wins, more wins, or like even fifty. Like if he was five hundred, I'd be okay. All right, let's look at our other stats here. So our goals for is still above three, which is good. Again, Nashville's. Oh my god, crazy. Our goals against has gotten better, I think. Or no, it might be about the same actually. Uh, so our goals four has actually gone down slightly. Uh, if we're looking at power play, it has gotten worse, which is not good. I don't know. I'm not sure how we improve that. We literally have the second worst in our division. Yikes. Uh, okay, PK has improved slightly. I don't know what's going on with that power play. We have a lot of good players on that first line. Maybe we got to sp like split them up a little bit. Last 10, we're 7-3, and three, so that's good. We're, on, we're, we're trending the right way. We're trending the right way. It's just not. I don't know. If, yeah, I don't know. That power play needs to get going though. So I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna look some more at the power play. But otherwise, that is gonna be it for today's video. Uh, we're not in a bad spot. Don't get me wrong. We're we're still in the mix. Um, I think we could easily pass the Blackhawks. Like I said, they have four games. Like we have four games in hand on them. So uh, the only. I mean, Dallas and the Minnesota Wild are gonna be probably competition for that wild card spot. The Ducks have 47, so they're tied, but they have more, they have the same games as us, so. Yeah, it'll be curious to see. It's it's not out of reach for sure, but yeah, we made some trades, we bolted our defense, I think, or like defensively on forwards, I, I don't know, I think that should be good. I don't know, <laughs> we're, we're trending right, that's all I care about. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed, please, uh, please consider leaving a like, and if you haven't done so, hit the subscribe button. Um, and if you have any thoughts and suggestions for the next franchise or like any ideas for this franchise, let me know in the comment section. Uh, otherwise we will see you next time, hopefully, and have a great rest of your day. Stay safe. Thanks for watching guys.